Let me take you back to 2009. Usain Bolt was at the height of his powers, world records were falling like dominoes, and after the Berlin World Championships in August, where he managed to break three separate world records, it was difficult to imagine any track meet even coming close to these moments. But then, just one month later, that is exactly what happened. On September 20th in Shanghai, China, the world witnessed something truly remarkable. In the men's 100 meters, Tyson Gay ran what can only be described as a career-defining race. After a rather slow start, he was trailing slightly behind Asafa Powell, but over the final 50 meters, he sprinted into the record books. With a finishing time of 9.69 seconds, he improved on his previous personal best by two one hundredths of a second, now becoming only the second athlete to ever run under 9.7 seconds. Now 9.69 on paper is already remarkable, but given his poor start, this time is even more impressive. If we compare Usain Bolt's world record time of 9.58 with Tyson Gay's new 9.69 performance, we see something that is difficult to believe. From the start up to the 40 meter mark, Bolt clearly had the advantage. However, from the 40 meter mark all the way to the finish, Tyson Gay is almost at the exact same pace as Usain Bolt's world record. In fact, from 60 meters up to the 80 meter mark, Gay ran this interval only one one hundredth of a second behind Bolt. During this phase, Bolt achieved a historic top end speed of 44.64 kilometers per hour, which to this day is still the fastest any human being has ever run. However, in Shanghai, China, Gay's top end speed was a remarkable 44.44 kilometers per hour. To this day, only three men have ever managed to achieve this speed, and this list includes Usain Bolt, Tyson Gay, and also Johan Blake from Jamaica. These three are also the only athletes to ever run under 9.7, so this is quite the exclusive club of world-class sprinters. This time still makes Tyson Gay the second fastest athlete of all time. But then, just 30 minutes after this time, this happened. In the women's 100 meters, Carmelita Jeter ran a time of 10.64, a performance that also made her the second fastest 100 meter athlete in history. Unlike Tyson Gay, this was a dominant performance right from the start. By 20 meters, she already had a full stride on the rest of the field, and for the rest of the race, she only increased her lead to historic proportions. This was quite the redemption race for Jeter, given that she placed third in the World Championships just one month earlier. But on this special day, there was simply no one that could catch her. So why was this day back in 2009 so unbelievably fast? Well, for one, there was a slight tailwind behind the athletes. But even if this was the case, it wouldn't guarantee such amazing times. So I actually have a theory that may or may not be correct. You can leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. For the men's race, Tyson Gay had a pretty weak start, and when he realized this, a shock of adrenaline went through his system, and it yielded a very impressive top end speed. Now this may or may not have occurred, but there's actually another race where something very, very similar happened. If we fast forward two years to 2011, Johan Blake ran his 200 meter personal best in 19.26 seconds. And he also achieved this time with a very bad start. Again, this sudden realization that he started so terribly may or may not have given Blake an extra shot of adrenaline, but given that the second half of this race was the fastest closing 100 meters in history, this theory of adrenaline does kind of hold up. Obviously, this quick burst of energy is meaningless unless the athletes are in world-class shape, so clearly, Tyson Gay was more than ready to run this time. Now, for Carmelita Jeter, her race was quite different, but based on her previous loss at the World Championships, it only makes sense that she ran this race as pure redemption. After finishing third to Shelly Ann Fraser Price and Karan Stewart from Jamaica, Jeter was clearly ready for more racing. 
Following soon after the World Championships, she ran a 10.67, defeating both of her Jamaican rivals. And then just one week after this performance, she became the second fastest 100 meter athlete ever with her time of 10.64 seconds. Since this day over 10 years ago, no athletes have been able to improve upon these times, making September 20th of 2009 quite possibly the fastest day in history. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.